In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways where you can promote your Amazon affiliate links on your website. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn how to do it step by step. For the best tips and tricks to learn affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start for my number one recommended way to start a full-time income online. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt with alstongodbolt.com. I'm an affiliate marketer and internet entrepreneur who has helped thousands of people across multiple platforms make passive income, and today I want to help you. All right, so in this video, like I mentioned, I'm going to show you all of the different ways that you can promote your affiliate links right on your website. This can be a good opportunity if you do it the right way. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go over to my website, alstingodbolt.com, and we are simply just going to create a post. So in this post, I'm just going to go over to new post here or add new, and I'm just going to type in like, um, I'm just going to type in best watch bands for 2022, for example. So we'll say uh, best smart watch bands for 2022. Now, obviously when you're creating a new blog post, you wanna make sure that you are creating blog posts based on what people wanna know. And one way that you can find out what people wanna know is to use a keyword research tool like Ahrefs. I have tons of other videos that show you how to do that, but you don't wanna just randomly, obviously create blog posts on stuff that no one is asking about. And so what you can do, and there's a number of ways to do it. Now that we have our blog post title, we obviously want to sign up for Amazon Associates. And to do that, you want to go to affiliate-program.amazon.com and sign up if you haven't already done so. The next thing that you wanna do, and this is gonna make your life so much easier, is sign up for something called SiteStripe. If we go over to Tools, click on SiteStripe. This is a Chrome plugin, Chrome extension that you'll be able to add right to your computer. And it makes your life much easier because when you go over to Amazon, you can find your links right up here at the top. Instead of going back to the Amazon Associates website all the time and trying to find links that way, you can go over to amazon.com and find your links. Now that we have the background out the way, let's go ahead and talk about all of the different ways that you can promote your affiliate links on your website. The first way, and I think the most common and easiest way is to add it as a link. And so what we can do here is we can say, um, we could say um, number one, we could say uh, number one, and we're just going to grab the title of this post like that. We're going to say this one, copy this, and go back over to our blog post and paste that in. Now that we have that, we can go back over to Amazon and we can grab our text link and we can either do a short link or a full link. Uh, people will recommend full links when you're doing a blog. I don't know that it matters, so we're going to copy this. And we are going to paste that over here just like this. And when you're linking, you always want to open in a new tab, just like that. Click on that. And then there you go. If I go to preview, I should be able to see that this link is live. So we click on preview. And while that's working, that's the first way. And you could also include it in text throughout. You could say, this is the best smart watch because or smart watch band because whatever, and then add your link in here just like that and paste it once again, open a new tab. You should always open links in a new tab so people have to come back to your, your website. If we go to the test here, if I click on this, this will open up a new tab over in Amazon. This is just one way. This is the easiest and probably most obvious way. Another way is to actually add buttons. So if I hit return here, you can add a button by going to the plus sign. Now I am using the newer form of, of WordPress. Some people will prefer the older version, the classic version. I personally don't have a problem with it either way. So we can go to button just like this and we'll click on buttons. And we could type in um, get, paste then the name, whoops, go back here. We'll copy the name just like this. And we'll go get that band today. And this is a button here. Let's see, we should probably, let's see. Let me go back here. I'm going to copy the name once again. Copy that just like that. I'm going to delete that one here and then paste in a new one. I wonder why. All right, so let's get rid of this one. We'll just delete this. We'll remove the block 
and we're going to click the plus sign again. We're going to add another button and we're going to type in get the band today. All right, so that is a button as you can see. On the side here, we have different options. We can change the border radius. That's gonna change what the border looks like. So that makes it look more like a button. We can increase the width so it takes up the entire screen. If we go over to preview, just like this once again, and if we take a look, you're gonna see that it takes up the whole screen. And then of course, we wanna make sure that we add in our link. We can grab our link once again from SightStripe, which I certainly recommend. Go to full link, copy this, Go back over to our web page here, paste that in, open a new tab, just like that. And if we go back over to our button, as you can see, it actually shows up full screen on the side. Now, because the button's not active, it's not gonna go anywhere. If I click on refresh, it should work this time because it's active. So as you can see there, it opens up in a new tab, just like that. So that is the second way. The next way that you can add um, your links is to simply go up to Side Stripe once again, and you can get an image. Now, the key to, one of the issues, or one of the rules that Amazon has is that you cannot use non-approved images. And these are one of the images that are approved, so you have to use these. So we copied it. I'm going to go to paste that in just like that. Paste it in just like that. Okay, that didn't work. Let's go back over to Amazon. And let's see, we're copy this once again, go back over. I'm gonna change this to custom HTML. So let's get rid of this block, remove block just like that. Let's remove this block also. Remove, we're gonna click the plus sign. And here I'm gonna type in custom, custom HTML. So we'll do that. If we paste that in, then we click on preview. You're gonna see what that watch looks like. And then once again, if we refresh this page, you're gonna see that there is a giant watch here. Let's go ahead and click preview once again. Let's see if this works. Now you do have the ability to change the watch size. As you, as you saw, I chose large, but you can also do small and medium as well. If we go back over here, boom, as you can see, there is the watch. And what I'll do is I'll actually just show you the different sizes for a comparison. So we'll go to medium, we're gonna copy this, now, if they give you custom HTML, it is important that you do not change it at all. If you change that custom HTML, you could cause problems with Amazon and you could cause problems with your affiliate links. So as you can see here, these are the different sizes. We're gonna copy this, but this is why getting site stripe is so important. It makes your life much easier when it comes time to do this. And as you can see, we have the large, small, and medium. Another way that you can do it. So if we go over to text and image, as you can see here, once again, we're gonna copy this, and then we are going to go over to our blog post yet again, go to custom HTML, and paste that in just like that. And when we click on preview, you're gonna see that it shows up just like this. If we go over to preview, preview in a new tab, you're gonna be able to see the changes that we've made. Now, another thing that you can do is you could install approved plugins, there's a plugin out there that, that it will cost money, but you can use it. Um, but these work good enough. You only should use that type of plugin if you want to have like a list style links where you have a bunch of links in one place. In fact, let me bring that up for you. The only one that I've used and purchased is this AAWP. And you'd only want it if you want to have, like I mentioned, the list style. If we go up to uh, demo here, you're going to see uh, some of the reasons why you'd want it. As you can see, if you're doing the comparison type tables, that's gonna be a good way. Um, if you want the smaller widgets, you can see for yourself, these are the only times that you'd wanna consider using something like this, and this is called AAWP. If you go to getaawp.com, you can use some of these, but I mean, for most people, if you're only having or discussing one product on a website, this is gonna work for you. This would work if you had like 20 best computers under $500, and then you could line them up side by side and people can make a comparison. But if we go back over to Amazon, another way that you can do it is I really like this custom here. If we look at this custom, once again, it's HTML code. And if we look, we copy, we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna do custom HTML code once again. And again, if you are not familiar with HTML, I recommend that you do not mess with it at all. 
as you can see here. The only thing is, is these kind of look like ads. And so it can be, uh, it, it can be off putting to some people. And let's see if we can add in another one. Let's see, we'll do custom HTML, paste that in. And you can see they have the tracking codes, they have all of that stuff. Um, and there's nothing that you could change or ne nothing that I would recommend that you change within this or else you're going to run into some problems. So if we click preview once again, I actually shot out three of them. But if we go over to preview, open a new tab. So again, these are the ways that I would do it. Uh, if you are going to have, as I mentioned, the 20 best widgets under $100, do something like this. If you're doing comparisons, if you're comparing two computers, you're comparing hard drives or monitors, you can look at something like AAWP. For most people, they are going to find that if I go back over here, you can see that they've actually made this a little bit different. These are ads that are on my website. You can see that there are some comparisons here. Um, you can add a link just like that. Add a button here, an actual button from WordPress. You can have these different images when they click on them. Um, it'll take them over, but you can see there's different ways to do it. You can also add these types of ads right over into your, your widget spot. These are the sidebar. You can add your ads right here. So if we go back over to do that, we could go back to new post. Let's leave this for a second. I think it's saved. We would go down to appearance, click on widgets. And again, this is the new WordPress. So your web, your WordPress might look a little bit different. As you can see, it says sidebar here. We could go custom HTML. See if we can find that real quick. Uh, custom HTML, drag this over right here. And then we could say um, smart watch band just like this. And then we could go back over to site stripe, find our image. Let's see, we want this one. So we're going to copy this once again, copy that. And then if we go back to our web page, we can paste in our custom HTML, click save. And then if we go to, uh, let's go to alstingodbolt.com like that. And then what we are going to do is we're going to scroll down to our most recent post. And then if we look on the right hand side, you'll see that we have that custom image right there, just like that. And then when people click on it, it takes them over to the different website, it takes them over to Amazon's website and you could uh, potentially make money. So now that you know all of the different ways that you can make money with your Amazon affiliate links on your website, click the first link in the description for my number one recommended way to start a full-time income online. When you click that first link, you'll be taken to a free training where you'll learn how to get started step by step. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online. Also check out my website alstongodbolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.